Hello, welcome to another episode of Alpha Welder. I'm here with Mike Learn, owner of Phoenix Laser Solutions. Hey guys. We're gonna be showing you a repair for a plastic injection mold. This is actually a trash can lid. Uh, we have an engraving job that needs to be repaired. I'm not sure if the customer is changing some of the lettering in the engraving, but basically we're able to weld up the engraving and they can re-engrave it to correct whatever the mistake was. All right, so first things what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the laser. I'm gonna smooth out all the current uh, engraving that's there. Once I do that, it's essentially cleaning out that surface. Uh, so once I smooth it out, then I'm gonna go back in and, and add wire. Uh, I'm gonna be using 20 thousandths P20 modified. Uh, so that way I should only have to do one layer thick. All right, make sure you're wearing your safety glasses, laser safety glasses that is. And Mike, just curious, are you replacing all the engraving? Are you filling it all in or just a certain section? What? So I'm gonna fill in all the engraving out here. I'm gonna leave the date code okay. because the date code's good. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna be changing all this in engraving up here. Okay, great. Uh, so the other thing that we're gonna be showing in this video, we're gonna weld this up to the point where we can hand bench it off. So that way we don't have to take this, throw it back in a CNC. We're gonna just take this, weld it up, I'll move this out, out from underneath the laser, and then I'm gonna stone off all my weld. So you're gonna have just enough buildup where they don't have to reset it in a CNC and machine it. They can hand work it with a stone or a grinder. Correct. Okay, very good. Uh, so essentially this repair could be done right in the press. Okay. It doesn't have to come out. Which if you could weld it in the press, you would also save all that time from breaking down the mold. Yeah, and, so. and like this case, it took a full day to break this mold down from the yep. base plate it was in. That's not factoring in the time it took to get it out of the press, yep. get it from that shop to the, the, or the next location. And with laser welding, we don't have to preheat it, right? Correct. We can do this cold. If I was doing a lot of buildup on it, it wouldn't be a bad idea, but because we're just doing a simple engraving fill-in, we don't need any preheat whatsoever. And the nice thing about using an alpha laser is he can weld right up against that time stamp without worrying about hitting that. So you can weld right up against sensitive areas without damaging them. So now I'm going through it and give myself a border. So he's able to weld close to that date stamp or date and time stamp. It's close, I would say it's around 10 to 15 thousandths away. So it's very close.
So my objective here is I want to try doing this with just one layer of weld wire. So that way I'm not putting too much material on to make it harder for the benching. I want to try keeping it right at the surface, if not just a little bit above. Uh, so that way we aren't going back and forth. So if you zoom in on this, this pad here, you can see I'm, I am very close to matching the surface, but I am proud. One other thing to note is you can see when he's welding, you see a smooth puddle. If you ever see any kind of bubbling in that molten puddle, that would let you know there's porosity under there. And so the reason he went over that before adding rod to, was to make, to make that surface as consistent as possible so when he adds rod, he does not have any porosity. And if you look at the video here, you can see there's no porosity in any of these welds. So Mike, I see when you're welding around each pad, you're going and making a border. Why are you doing that? Just curious. So if I give myself a picture frame around the weld, so that first border I'm putting around there, I'm making sure along the parent material, I'm not having any sink. So once I have a, a nice border around there and I don't have any sink outside there, now I'm just gonna stay within my picture frame window. Gotcha. Uh, so essentially it's just to make sure I have no sink where I'm all, all set and done with. Gotcha. And then what I like to do is I, I do a smooth out pass, as you can see right here, just inside that picture frame uh -huh. to eliminate that sharp corner. So I, instead of welding right into my toe, now I'm welding into a, ra a radius. Gotcha. So less chances of poor fusion. Gotcha. So you guys just saw me weld up all those pads. My hand, I can hold it right on there. That's how little heat input a laser causes. If that was TIG, good luck. All right, Mike, are you finished with this job? So I'm done with the laser welding portion. Okay. Uh, now, tomorrow morning when I come in, I'm gonna hand bench all this engra or weld off there and get it ready to go over to our, our engraving department. Okay, so we're actually finishing this weld job and we're gonna re-engrave it also. Yes, okay. sir. Hey guys, so it's the day after. Uh, we're gonna come back and start benching on this, uh, this laser weld that we put over this engraving. Uh, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start using a stone. Uh, I'm gonna, because we barely have like 10 thousandths of material proud from the base material. So stone should be able to knock this off pretty quick and easy. So I don't wanna go in there with a big deburring tool. I wanna go in and just finesse that weld right down. So it is gonna be a little bit time consuming to hand bench off, but at least I don't have to throw it on a machine. I don't have to take it to another operation. You can just do it all right here. And there's a lot less risk with uh, stone too, right? If you used a, a pneumatic grinder or something, you could damage some other area on the molding surface, right? Correct. You could easily put a divot in it as well. I'm going to use this stone just to knock off all the highs and then I'll go back through with a finer grit whenever I get, get closer to the base. So we're here with Mike Learn. We have this engraving repair job finished. 
Mike, what are you doing next? So as of right now, what I'm doing is applying a draw polish to it uh, so to blend the, the rest of the, the surface all together. So that surface was all hand benched off by hand. It looks really good. So if that was in the press, we could have welded that up, hand benched it right off, and if if no engraving was needed to be put back in, like we're going to after we're done here, you could just essentially bench it off, close the press up, and start running parts. Thanks for watching another episode of Alpha Welder. Don't forget to subscribe below. Like and share. Oh, damn.